Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and today's video I'm going to be talking about the Mercy changes that are now going to be in Overwatch very, very soon, at least on console. They're already on the PTR for PC, but since I'm a console player, it's not quite here yet. But um, basically, Mercy is getting a giant rework. It's not like a you know minor thing where like they make like a thing weaker or something like that, and they're just done with it. They're completely changing how Mercy works. And this is going to be either a really good thing or a really bad thing. I have not played with the new Mercy, and I don't know when the Mercy update will come to console, but I do just want to talk about it just so that way you guys know what's coming in terms of Mercy, in case you guys are like a Mercy main or something like that, or if you just become accustomed to playing a lot of Mercy, because like I've been playing Mercy ever since um, you know the new season, uh, Season 5 came out. Um, ever since Comp uh, went to Season 5, I've been playing a lot of Mercy, and she's actually one of my most used heroes now. In fact, she is my most used hero overall across all game modes just from this season. I like playing Mercy a lot. And so that's one thing that's worrying me about this rework is that I don't want her to be completely overpowered or completely useless. So the main reason behind this uh, you know, rework is because a lot of people are complaining like beyond you know, your imagination about how many times that people have, like, team wiped somebody and then Mercy just reses out of nowhere and it ends up screwing over too many people. So a lot of people complained about it, and I agree, I've had moments where, like, I'll wipe the whole team even by myself or with my team after we finally, you know, broke, you know, broke down the barrier and we were able to finally break their, uh, lock on the spawn or whatever during, like, a comp game and then Mercy's, Mercy's just like, heroes never die, and I'm just like, oh, great. Like, it's just the most unsatisfying feeling in the world. It's like, the, a giant dis appointment whenever a mercy rises on the enemy team so this is going to be what is going to happen in the uh, console update i once again don't know when it's coming out this is already on the ptr so if you guys have the pc version you guys could probably mess around with this a little bit but this is basically in summary what is going to be happening in mercy and i'm just kind of you know summarize it because there's an article that i'm reading off of and i don't want to bore you guys too much but basically, what Mercy's um, abilities are now is that she can still fly to everybody per normal. However, though, she has a E ability, I believe is what it is on PC. I'm not sure what that will be like for console, um, like for what button it will be. But um, Mercy now has the ability to res as just a, you know, a bumper ability, I'm assuming is what button it will be. So she doesn't res anymore as an alt. Basically, what she does now is that if she's right near somebody, she can single res. And this is a thing that will recharge every 30 seconds, which I believe will be the longest recharging ability in the game. I think that's like right next to Hanzo's Sonic Arrow which is 20 seconds, I believe. So, and Mercy can still fly, she can fly towards everybody, but her res is now an ability and not an alt. And she can only do it one person at a time. She has to wait every 30 seconds and res somebody. It'll just be, you know, like, heroes never die for normal, but it's only one person. And when you uh, see a whole bunch of dead bodies, it shows a player icon of who, you know, you're reviving, like if you're reviving another Mercy, or if you're reviving a Reaper or a Diva, so that way you know who you're resing. And, uh, when you res, I'm pretty sure it has the same radius. I'm pretty sure they didn't change that, but now it's just a solo, so you can't multi-res anymore. Which means that I think they're going to have to rework the achievement, because I have the achievement um, for Mercy, where um, basically you get a quad res or higher. But if they're making it so that way the ult doesn't res anymore, I don't know how exactly that's going to work. I think that achievement, unless they change it, it's going to be impossible now. Or they have to rework something, because there's no way you can get a quad res with 30 seconds in between each one. So, that's going to be very interesting. Now, her staff ability, which is something that I thought was really cool, and I'm glad to hear this. Mercy can now heal multiple people at once, and what do I mean by this? Well, you know how Mercy's just staff can lock onto one person at a time and essentially pocket you know, people and make it so that way that person will essentially never die? Her staff works now like Winston's electricity gun, like his Tesla cannon, where it locks onto more than one person at a time. So like what you're watching on the screen of Mercy, you know, gameplay that I got here, you know, see how it's locking onto, you know, Jake over there. Imagine, you know, if someone was right next to him, it would lock onto two people. The the ray, the ray would just split. So it locks onto multiple people. So she's not a solo based healer anymore. She has passive healing, which is cool, but it's also direct still, which means that it's not only useful in terms of healing multiple people, but they didn't nerf it really at all. So I think it's pretty cool. The, the Mercy nerf, because this is technically a nerf, but, um, it was mostly just to fix the res problem, but I think this is also slightly a buff, kind of like with the D.Va buff, which is going to be coming soon, or the D.Va nerf, sorry. 
Um, so I'm not really sure if I want to talk about that, but this is just mostly dedicated about Mercy. Anyways, I'm kind of getting a little bit sidetracked. Next thing I want to talk about is that Mercy's gun is also getting a buff as well. The uh, increase of damage is going to be something that's going to be, you know, in the game now, which I'm not sure. They did not release a number on what the damage percentage increase was, but I know for a fact because I watched, you know, O Nicole's video on it or his stream, they are increasing the pistol damage for Mercy. I'm assuming that it won't be that much. I'm pretty sure it'll be like, I don't know, like by 10%. I don't know how much that would actually be in game. But it'll probably be something just minor. So Mercy's damage is going to be a little bit more stronger, so she can be a, a little bit more of a bow Mercy. It, it's just to make her more aggressive than you know uh, defensive or something like that. Is I think what they're trying to get here, kind of like with the Diva nerf. The next thing that I want to talk about is also that Mercy's alt. This is the biggest change that they are completely doing. Instead of using the Res as an alt now, they have a alt called Valkyrie. Once you get your ultimate. Mercy will like uh, essentially go Super Saiyan. What she'll do is that she'll have the ability to have unlimited ammo. Her pistol just switches to unlimited ammo, no reload whatsoever. And she just shoots herself straight into the sky and she flies all over the place. It's like having unlimited Phara boost. She just launches up in the air and she just floats for a good 30 seconds with unlimited ammo. And she has the ability to recharge her health ex extremely quickly. And she doesn't take you know, as much of a recharge rate with her res, it recharges every 10 seconds, I believe, instead of every 30. So she becomes a complete battle mercy when her ult activates now. She can res every 10 seconds instead of every 30. Unlimited ammo, no need to reload. She shoots up in the sky and unlimitedly flies like fairy. You don't have to glide either. I think you just stay in the air. So you're essentially just, you know, in the air for 30 seconds, which I think is pretty cool. And then also, I believe that if uh, you get shot at when you're mercy, uh, as long as you're not shooting back, your health will constantly recharge, so as long as the DPS is not stronger than the healing rate, I'm pretty sure you can't die, which is another great thing about this. Now, the biggest problem is that I'm worried about this, and it's not a potential problem because I haven't, you know, played with it yet, but what happens when this actually hits, you know, console and everywhere else, you know, in terms of Overwatch and not just the PTR? Is this going to be something that's going to be abused? Is this something that's going to make Mercy a must-pick? Because it sounds like it's going to be a must-pick at this point. Mercy was kind of already a must-pick just because, you know, that res is super clutch. But I feel like that this is going to turn Mercy either, number one, into a offensive character so much to the point where she doesn't heal and she just goes, you know, like, and just kills everybody. The second thing that I'm worried about is I'm worried that everyone's going to need a must-pick Mercy. Like, if you pick any other healer, you're basically being the equivalent of stupid. I feel like there's going to be a lot of you know, trash saying, why did you pick Mercy, you idiot, or something like that. And the last thing that I'm worried about with this update is that, is this going to make Mercy worse to the point where she's useless? Because, like, you know, people are going to hate the fact that she can't, you know, ult and, you know, res everybody. Or is this going to make her extremely overpowered? Those are kind of, like, the three things I'm worried about. So, as this update comes out, I'm going to, you know, probably make a follow-up, like, tweet or video or something just talking about my opinions because this is all just theoretical and, and you know, based off a of guess. But I'm really looking forward to seeing the changes at least because there has been moments where I've been pissed off about Mercy resing the whole team after I killed them with my friends. So hopefully this doesn't break the game. Hopefully this does not ruin Overwatch because in my opinion, like, and Jake said this especially, Jake and me have been having conversations back and forth. Jake thinks that the changes recently in Overwatch have been kind of stupid, which I can agree on to a certain extent. The D.Va uh, nerf and the uh, Mercy nerf are the two biggest that I've noticed especially. And I really just hope that these character reworks do not mess up the game. Uh, the Junkrat one's a little bit worrying, just not as much so, just because it's only somewhat of a difference compared to, you know, these two. I'm just hoping that they don't make the game too different. They said that their goal is to not change the characters when they, you know, make changes to the uh, abilities or whatever. They just want to make them, you know, more like themselves, more um, what they should have been is what they're trying to get at, um, essentially. So hopefully this will end up being better for the game and not worse. Because I, I think that the game is honestly changing a little too much based off of like what I've been seeing recently. I just don't want to see Overwatch, you know, like in a year from now, completely be a different game. Because the the two biggest things that have already happened is that you know uh, Symmetra has the ability to throw a giant flinging shield in the second alt, and then Reaper doesn't have souls anymore to pick up. So that that's like two characters that have already had big changes. And if there's anything I missed, I will probably leave, you know, like my Twitter per usual down below in the description. So that way if you guys want to just check the uh, uh, tweet that I retweeted showing off like what happened to Mercy or what's going to be happening to Mercy, you guys can read it, you know, fully for yourself. 
But anyways, guys, just wanted to bring this to your attention. I thought this would be a very informative video, and I just wanted to make a commentary yet again. So if you guys liked today's video, I really appreciate if you could drop a thumbs up on the video, and also subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all later. Peace out, everybody.